Question 5 of the Tannant Q Corn Ferry Elements Logical Practice Test Question. Pause the video and have a go at answering this question. When you're ready, press play again and I will go through my worked solutions with you. I hope you've had a go. In order for us to solve this problem, we'd have to look at our table in terms of rows. So this is the first row here, this is our second row, and this is our third row. When we look at each row, we can see that we've got three different sequences. Um, we have one that's one symbol, we have the second one which is two symbol, and then we have a three symbol sequence here. Likewise, one symbol, two symbol, three symbol. And for our final one, we'll have one symbol here. We've got three symbols here, so we know our missing piece must be two symbols in order for it to fit the pattern above. So what this tells us is that we can immediately eliminate these three symbol options here on the bottom, and we just have to focus on the two symbol options given to us. Right, when we further look into our row, for example row one here, we can see we've got a three line symbol here, we've got a infinity symbol and a percentage symbol here and then we've got a percentage symbol a three line symbol and an infinity symbol here so we can already tell that they're all related this three symbol shape here is essentially a combination of these two shapes here what happened was the three lines went into in between the infinity symbol and the percentage symbol so the three lines went in between these two and then what happened on the next shape was that these two, the infinity symbol and the percentage symbol, they switched positions. So right now we can see that the infinity symbol is on the left and the percentage sim symbol is on the right. What happened was the infinity symbol went from the left to the right here and the percentage symbol went from the right to the left here while maintaining the three lines in the middle. So likewise, this N shape went into the middle between these two shapes, the three lines and the infinity symbol, and then the three lines and the infinity symbol switch positions here. Applying this same principle when looking at our shape here, we can see we've got a circular um, symbol here, we've got an infinity symbol here, a circular symbol here, and three lines here. We know this circular symbol went into the middle between these two symbols. However, we have to also keep in mind that these two symbols on the outside, they switch positions. If we don't keep that in mind, we would select this answer here, which would be incorrect, because although if you put this shape into the middle between these two shapes, we would get this, you'd have to remember there's an extra step where these two um, shapes switch positions. So if we apply our rules to what we've got now, we can see that if you put this circular symbol in between these two symbols here and then you switch these two symbols referring to the three lines and the infinity sign we would end up with this okay it won't be this one it would be this one this is our answer i hope that made sense if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below if this video has helped you do give us a like and subscribe